Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we have a very near and dear video to my heart. We have our final ever match with STMN versus Luminosity Gaming. Based off the, I don't even know how many videos are on my channel this year of us versus Luminosity. You guys can tell we have played them a lot. We've played them all year and I don't know if all of you have seen the news but unfortunately, we have decided to split ways with Zara. It was kind of a mutual thing where we just felt like we were too comfortable with each other and we needed some new beginnings. Now, in North America, there's two off-season tournaments and unfortunately, LG didn't qualify to the finals of another. So, in the playoffs of this other tournament, this is the last ever time we are going to face them properly as STMN versus them. Now, they've been our biggest rival for two years now, so I thought we have to make a video on this last match. So let's jump into it. So starting off in set number one, you guys are going to see this from LG's perspective. They have Buster, Chester, and Frank. Now this is a really good composition. When drafting for this, now this is played online. This isn't like a monthly final or a LAN where everything is even. Unfortunately, um, I do have a little bit of a disadvantage playing from home. I just have a little bit of connection problems and my shots come out a little bit later than everyone else's in the lobby. So because of that, I have to kind of pre-pick what I'm going. And I thought I could do a lot of work with Rosa on this map. Now, we knew we were going to put Sans on Penny because Penny recently got a buff and Sans is really good on Penny. And we were trying to figure out how to fill the rest of our comp. We were deciding between Gale and Squeak. So we went Squeak because Sans said he didn't want to play in the mid. So we had to get a pretty, you know, decent mid, but something that did damage. We locked in the Squeak and then they insta-picked Frank. So looking back on it, we definitely should have just forced sands to play mid and we go range but it's totally fine because we're actually holding this game somewhat together there's two gems in our spawn and we're getting a ton of kills we're doing a lot of work patchy makes a pretty good play with that shield but unfortunately his teammate goes down with him and it's six four and but that's really six six because there's gems in our spawn so this game's actually going kind of well um i know you guys can't see all the action because it's a little bit cut off but i had to get this from the official stream so that's just what we're going to have to deal with today. But again, pretty even game. The map is opening up though, which makes it a little bit more difficult for myself. I do have hypercharge and I'm able to pop it just before I get pulled. I'm going for the gems and they almost let me kill the gem carrier. And then unfortunately, Chino gets hypercharge. He goes a little bit too close to Zar, pulls him in and he is going to steal all of the gems. So really good play by Chino. It was getting to be a pretty even game there, but as the map opened up more and more, it became harder for us. Because, you know, I'm just useless as a Rosa. So that's going to be game number one, and they are going to take it. So going into game two, again, same thing. We tried to double aside and do something different, even though, you know, I knew that wasn't going to work. Uh, we tried it, and unfortunately, we all died in like five seconds. So that didn't go very well. And then Patchy with a really well-placed shield over there gets me to like kind of punch myself a little bit. So we confirm the kill on the Frank, and then here I'm trying to get close to Patchy to try and make a play, because I don't want to push a Chester, that's just useless for me. I'm waiting for Patchy to get in the bush. I hit a slow, but unfortunately it's a little bit too early to hit Patchy. And I do get some shots in there, so I'm charging my hypercharge very nicely there, but unfortunately, like, I don't do anything. I don't get a kill, I don't clear any space, and they just open up the map even more. So now I have my hypercharge, and I see Chino has his, I run up, and I get killed immediately as well as Chino completely opens up the map. So I'm not having a really good game here at all, to be honest. Um, Zar dies, and our whole game plan, just everything was was horrific this game. And now I have a hypercharge, so I'm saying, okay, I can go get Chino. So we're able to confirm the kill over there on Chino. I tried to leave a little bit early to go and get Patchy, but I didn't get my Rosa super fast enough. And then for some reason, Patchy just pushes up and decides he feels like dying today. And I don't really know what the cause was for that decision, but he did it anyways. And if Zar maybe hit that shot over there, we could have killed the Frank. Unfortunately, though, he did miss. Frank runs out one shot, and they're kind of getting their control back. Like I said, the more open the map, the worse it is for us. So we decide to go Rosa Gem Carrier. Because we have a Penny Turret in the mid, so I can kind of... I have some type of range in the mid. It's not me, it's a Penny Turret. But they're pushing up really nicely. They're making really good spacing. Chino barely misses that super, but at this point, the map is wide open. I have all the gems as, as a Rosa, and it's just like, what could I even do? So, really good shot over there by Zara, which slows down Charles, and then Penny gets a nice 3-tap. I do manage to pick up the gem, and now it's 10-9, but unfortunately, there's just not that many places I can go. I pop my super fast enough to not get killed, but unfortunately, I do end up going down. Everyone ends up going down, and that is going to be set number one. 
for luminosity so after this one what i'm saying is like we need anti-tank like we can't let them just run us down because we know that's what they're going to try and do so let's focus on that a little bit more for next time. So going into the next mode, it's going to be Brawl Ball. And you guys can see we really focused on the anti-tank here. So we have Surge and B to kill tanks. They have Nita, Mortis, and Chester. Now they like Mortis a lot when we play under these conditions online. Because again, it's really difficult for me to do anything. But they do kind of mess up their start. Sans jumps back. Don't ask me why Sans jumps back. Because he's got to go get the bush. But they do mess up that goal. So what turned from them getting a team wipe to start off turned into us getting position and a level for Sands. And then when our comp has position, it's really easy because they have to push into us. And when you're pushing into a leveled up Surge, a Larry, and a B, no matter what brawlers you have, it's just difficult. So Sands, for some reason, corners the ball for them. And I'm telling him, like, yo, switch on to the Mortis. I can't really deal with the Mortis. When I have my bot as a Larry, it's okay. But only when I have my bot. So we have a nice little 3v1 situation over here. I say we got to go and score. Really good play over there by Chino. So I'm like, okay, pause that. Let's just hold position. And against the Chester and against Anita, you guys can see me as a Larry. I'm just, like, going at it. Like, there's nothing that they can do whatsoever. And every time there's a Mortis, I just got to put my bot down and I'm perfectly safe. So here, Sans has a hypercharge. We're holding down the mid really, really well. And there's just nothing they could do. We're like really squeezing them out. But Chester is getting some access into the mid. He does get the kill over there on Sans. And just like that, our control is completely gone. So they messed up to start the game. We mess up in the middle of the game. And now it's just, you know, kind of all over the place. We're stuck in spawn. There's not too much that could happen. Chino goes in for a hypercharge play, but he unfortunately goes down. If he gets those bats off, he probably team wipes. And, and when I mean probably, I mean he absolutely does team wipe. And that would have been a goal for them. But he's not able to get it off. And we're still kind of stuck in spawn here. Really good kill over there by Patchy. He's playing really good this game. He gets one on me as well. And Chino with a really nice play over there to kind of get the ball fast and make sure that Sans can't score. That was a really good well-timed play. And you guys can see Chino's going to put that ball up because Chino just loves to go for these goals. Sans almost gets baited, but fortunately he gets the ball right before Chino does. And right here, I'm like, we have to go. We have to go. This is the only chance we have to get into the bush. Sans pops his gadget or his hypercharge and he's trying to hit some shots but kind of a big waste of hypercharge over there they push up and it's just not a good look for us at this point i'm stuck in the net sans is stuck in the corner but he jumps to me they get a bear and once they get a bear it's just kind of like what do we even do chino with the team wipe and they are going to take the first game one nothing now going into game number two i you know, ask him to help me out a little bit more with that Mortis. So Zart is doing a really good job over here of just holding his 3k, doing his thing. Unfortunately, Sans does go down and so does Zart. But I don't want to act like they're throwing by dying because I'm the most offensive brawler. So I'm going to be the one that dies last. Sans comes out of the net and just makes like an absolutely great play. Saves the goal. And I mean, God, like... I thought he was going to die there. That's why I was kind of like stuttering. But I can't believe Zard didn't just walk up and get the auto aim kill there. Um, so that's going to be that. I get a couple nice shots over there onto the Nita. And the Mortis, again, he can't really do anything when there's a bot present. I mean, he's just kind of stuck. No matter what, he's always taking damage. So it's just like, I don't even know what you could do at that point. Um, Sans is going to go for a play. He wastes his jump. Honestly, Sans on the Surge. Like, somebody's got to get my boy off the Surge. Like... I don't, I can't believe what I'm watching at this point. And here, I don't know how they don't score here because there's no way we stop this. Like they have a bear with a shield. We have two single fire brawlers and they have 11k HP. But I think they just completely mess this up and we somehow get really decent control. Not control, but like everything is fine for us. Like we just put the ball back into the corner. They could have easily scored. And now we're just trying to make our way out. So Patchy gets a stun. Again, he gets another kill. Where is my boy Sans going? I don't know. Bro was going on an adventure to, to see how many times he could die in a game. Like, I don't even know at this point. Um, but he comes back. He's got his hypercharge. I'm just stuck in the net. I'm doing my thing. Uh, Chino does have super. And he's looking very scary. But I'm just, you know, playing passive. Not letting him get too close. Until I get a bot. When he gets a bot, I'm okay. Sans finally makes a good play like i know a round of applause for sans great job sans uh we're able to get the kill over there and pinch him out so i'm like go we need the we need the grass we need the grass unfortunately charles gets his hyper bear so it's just like oh my god now we got to go back and we all got to shoot the bear sans with a really good play jumping up over there and before i die i give him like a little larry bot 
to help him out and get some scouting. I mean, I didn't plan for it to get some scouting, but I'm like, okay, you need some help. Like, here you go, Sans. Um, Chino's going to go in, make a really good play. Patchy with a really good stun over there. And Chino's doing his best just not to die. But that's a really nice shot over there by Sans. He absolutely, like, squeezed that one in there. I don't even know. Zara's going to slow down Charles, which allows me and Sans to kind of defend this. Like, this is just... This is just a lot. I don't know. This is just a whole lot, and it's difficult. And why does the scoreboard say 1-1? All right, honestly, we missed a game that we won, and I'm not going to go back and show you it. Honestly, I can't believe that I missed a game that we won, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, guys. So we have overtime here, and the Mortis is a little bit weird in overtime. Now, I want you guys to watch Zar. I, I want one miss shot, two miss shot, three miss shot, Four missed shot. He hit a shot. He missed. He missed again. 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 These are like my power league randoms. He missed again. He missed again. Like, bro, you're the B in overtime. Zar hit a couple shots, brother. But anyway, Zar does not seem to be a fan of hitting shots today. So this game is going to end in a tie. And we're going to go to a game four. Okay, just to show you quickly what happened in game one. I'm not going to show you guys the whole game because we missed it. But basically, I, I assume Sans played better this game because we saw Sans last game and I can't believe we even drawed. But Chino is not doing too good versus my lane as a Larry. And he ends up going down. I end up switching sides and pinching with my teammates, which is really good on all of our parts. We all play that really well. Really nice slow there by Zar, And we just get in on this ball. Now, Sans is not level two, but he's had really good positioning. He gets the jump over there. We just got a lot of stuff going on on the screen. And then we kind of just like all pinch together and hit a shot or so and get a nice goal over there. Then we respawn. We kind of do our thing. I switch sides. Chino gets on my side, but he immediately dies. I ask for my teammates to pass up the ball because I have a wide open lane. Zar passes it up. Very nice pass by Mr. Zar. And I walk that ball in the net. Quick one minute game. Now going into game number four, Zar is like you know what we're gonna pretend this isn't overtime anymore and he starts hitting a lot of shots as well as we finally switch lanes to put me on the nita and the surge on the mortis i mean i know like it, it doesn't take sherlock to do that but we were we were stubborn we weren't switching i don't know why but here i'm asking sans i say switch with me so he has like a really beautiful switch where he's not going over the wall while i'm going over the wall he goes under he's just causing a lot of commotion we're just doing way too much as a team and we put the ball in the net really quickly one to nothing lead for us and then here it's kind of just like i don't know let's just hold our ground let's try and do our thing we have high levels we have our larry bot i do mess up the gadget over there though but everything is very perfect and i would like to say our positioning here is so elite like sans is covering the mortis and i'm covering the mid and czar is covering the right side but none of us are showing ourselves it's just absolutely beautiful sans messes up that goal like, honestly, for someone that has 8 trillion masteries, like, Sans kind of, like, does some questionable stuff. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, Sans is having a very beautiful game so far. This is definitely the best game that we've seen from him. Uh, this Maybe this whole tournament. I don't know. But everything is going really well. I'm going to use my gadget to kind of run away from that Mortis. And Sans, again, covering me really well. This is the type of pinches that we saw when we came second place at Worlds. Just absolute perfect team synergy. Things are looking amazing. Maybe if we played like this, we actually could have made Worlds. Who knows? But anyways, you know, we're just doing our thing. We're holding it down. I tell the team, like, guys, we don't need to score a goal. Let's just sit here. Pretend we live in EU. Like, just farm kills for a minute. I don't know. And Chino's just waiting for me to shoot. I finally shoot, but I do have a bot. And I'm able to, you know, get the goal, get the kill, get the save, get whatever we want to call it. And then Sans walks it forward, slides it in the net beautiful 1-1. One, one. Now this is a little bit unique. Now in this tournament, the third set is always a 1v1 stage, kind of like they have in Clash Royale, but a little bit different. So each team gets a ban, they ban B, we ban Colt, and then Brock, Bell, and Piper were the leftover 1v1 brawlers. So we have Charles versus Zar on Brock, Chino versus Bobby on Bell, and Patchy versus Sans on Piper. Now you guys might be wondering why Sans is playing Piper and I'm playing Bell. It's because Sans is not the greatest at 1v1s to say the least. So we're going to put my guy last in the order today so that myself and Zar could step up and play the 1v1s. And they started spectating this a little bit late and I'm going to put it on 1.5 speed. But Zar going into this 1v1 had a record of five wins and two losses in his 1v1s. So he is an absolute 1v1 merchant. And 
Charles, I don't think he's won a single game. Like I, I actually think he's 0 and 7 in the 1v ones, and I'm not saying this to be rude. I'm not saying, like I, I genuinely think he's 0 and 7. So that's gonna be the 1v1. Zar farms him. It ends really quickly, and it is going to be a one nothing set lead for us in set number three. Now, me personally, I am five and two in the 1v ones, one slot worse than Zar, and they missed my first kill just like they missed Zar's first kill. But I'm glad this is gonna be on 1.5 speed because. This is a very important set. I mean, I live in the east side of Canada. I live in Toronto, for anyone who knows where that is. And the server we're playing on is in Los Angeles, which is on the other side of the region. If we don't win the 1v1 set, we are not going to win. So honestly, I got one kill at the start of the game. I marked Chino and I said, you know what? I'm gonna play this as defensively as possible. So this is on 1.5 speed because if it wasn't on 1.5 speed, you guys would just be sitting here watching me juke, watching me stay out of his range for literally two minutes. But every time he jukes a couple shots, I eventually do end up hitting one and I just send him right back to his spawn. And even though I could have killed him there with my hypercharge, I didn't want to because I'd rather just milk him being marked and whatever. So I'm waiting here, my next shot, I'm gonna use my hypercharge. I'm waiting for him to push up. He's kind of pushing up pretty well. I'm not hitting shots. I hit one, so I'm like, okay, I'll hypercharge. I'll do my thing. He goes to one shot, he gets somewhat close, but nothing and that's gonna be a set win for us so now that it's two one in sets we are now going to go on to bounty i'm curious by the way if you guys would think a 1v1 set is cool because i mean they have that in clash royale and i think it's pretty interesting i don't know if i would love it for brawl or not i'm just kind of wondering what you guys would think i thought the tournament concept is pretty cool and it's not over there's still a final day that we have to play but i just i don't know i want to know what you guys think so going into bounty um we wanted me on a long range sharpshooter that I can kind of stay away from enemies and just focus on my aiming. And we put Sans on Penny because again, Sans loves Penny and Zar on Gray because Zar loves Gray. So we honestly have a really good comp for us, Angelo, Penny and Gray. And they have RT, Carl and Nani. So they have kind of like the best range brawler being Nani. And then they have RT. RT is a really good well-rounded brawler and then Carl. So they have a pretty nice comp themselves as well. I'm not going to lie. Um, and we're just kind of trying to focus on getting kills and not charging super now Unfortunately sands does go down there and That's okay. I mean, it's not really okay because I preferred it to be a one kill game So we just had to get one but we haven't You know died a lot. We've kind of just held our ground and that is really nice because it just makes it a two kill game So I got my super I'm trying to do my thing Sans is tapping. Zar is tapping especially hard. I tell him to go for a pull over there. He goes for it and gets the kill. So Zar completely solos that kill over there. Really exceptional and good kill by, or by Zar. And now Sans is his turret. Finally, we've been waiting all game for this. So Charles uses his head. Probably a bad idea because this gives Sans position to go ahead and use his turret. And Charles is just completely trapped. I mean, they have to use everything they have. Their Nani gadgets, Carl Super, everything just to get out of that. And I kind of didn't contribute there, so that was definitely my bad. But Sans is just going to splashing. I get that guy to one shot. Sans gets two kills there. Zar gets the third. And beautifully, just like that, we are able to take game number one and move ahead to match point. So now going into game number two, we're getting a little bit more excited trying to get that blue star. And I get completely tapped up by Charles. Like, completely tapped up by Charles. So, I mean, God, like, well played to Charles. That was really... That was insane. And I'm immediately like, yeah, get me off that Nani lane. He tapped me like that and he didn't even use his return to center gadget. I want no part of that. So now I move up really easily over there on that right side. We get a really nice combined kill where all of us hit a shot there off of a Zar great uh, hook. Zar played the set unbelievable, to be honest. Really nice blocked head over there by Zar as well. Like if you're getting Nani headed and you just block it like that, that's like basically the perfect way to play it. Now we have really deep positioning into their spawn. I'm playing it really safe, so I just kind of jump away because I don't want to feed and die again. Uh, we get Patchy to really low HP. And again, I'm saying just take our time just like last game. It's a one kill game. We got some snipers. Let's use the fact that we have these snipers. Uh, Charles with another return to Zender, and they're just like stacked up right on top of each other. Like we just got to hit some shots here and we're going to get a really easy kill. I get one over there onto Patchy. Charles uses his uh, hook. And I mean, Chino uses his hook, sorry. And then Patchy, I don't know why he supers there, but he does and he gets stuck. Chino's gonna go for a play. He does end up getting the kill. And now we have a pretty thick lead and we're on match point. So we just gotta hold this down and we win. And unfortunately for us, we're kind of in a corner. Sans just goes out and dies. I guess that's okay because he was allowed to die. 
but then Zar goes and dies. So I use my hypercharge. I get a hit onto Chino, and then I get another full hit over there onto Patchy. Get another hit onto Chino and teleport back. So that was probably my nicest play of this game. And then Zar is getting a couple taps in. He goes in on Charles. He gets the kill. But we got to do some quick maths and figure out how we can win this game. Sans and Zar, or Sans and Chino, unfortunately trade. I know that I need Patchy, but unfortunately I'm not able to get him. And they squeeze out that game with a win. So now this is a really important game because we don't have much you know of a chance in a hot zone set where you know there's not that much range and there's not you know there's a lot more short range brawlers it's a little bit difficult to play that uh under these con conditions but we're starting this game off really well because we're able to tap patchy really hard he goes to basically one shot and i'm able to hit him again and i know he's low so i don't hit him with a fully charged up shot and i get him to 19 hp like if i held that for 0.1 more seconds i get the kill but because I'm hitting so many shots, we're able to push up really well. And we get a couple kills just like that. And then immediately, I have super. Zar has super. Everyone's kind of doing their thing. And Sans gets super. So Sans puts down a super. And I just like, I'm like, dude, like Sans. Like what? Like no way that's where we're putting the first actual good turret we get. And then he immediately dies as well. Like Sans is just kind of like, Sans is just being Sans. Let's just say that um but we still have the lead only a minute left so we're kind of doing our thing over here and we're holding it down and that's i guess all we need to do i have my big charged up shot but i'm on the nani and i'm telling them like there's nothing i could do to a nani because every time i hit him with a big shot he just returns to senders me and he does a lot more damage to me so i'm kind of like switching trying to get into the mid over here and Zar is moving over onto that Nani. Sans gets a nice turret down. That's the first in like three games. I mean, it's very hard to get one given the range. That's the first in three games that we get a really nice turret. So now they have to push in on us. And there's just no way they have of taking that out. So it's kind of like a 4v3 in this scenario. And they have to push into us. So it's looking really good for us. Chino moves in. I pop my hypercharge. Sans does go down. But I'm able to get a really easy kill onto Chino. I just had to jump over the wall. Then we just got to force Patchy into a corner. We do. We get the kill. And as I don't want to say as easy as that, but I didn't really have an expression to say there. And just like that, we actually beat LG in our very last match versus them. I, I think we haven't faced every other team combined the last two years as many times as we, we faced LG. So, I mean, that was quite the ending to a long chaptered rivalry. And I don't know. That's it. That rivalry is going to hold like a very... Like I said, near and dear place to my heart because that's, you know, those are my best friends that I play with and I go up against. And it was just fun that we got the last laugh, even though, you know, they're at Worlds and we're not. So that's going to be it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, you know, I can't really give you guys the most comp videos because, again, I didn't make it. But I'm going to be covering Worlds a lot. So don't worry. I got you guys with that. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll catch you guys again later.